There's no need to uh, wait any longer. We're going to get into Ryan's Roses right now. So if you're just jumping into the car, uh, it's time for Ryan's Roses. If you are in your transition period, m- make the jump. iHeartRadio, do it quickly <laughs> because we're going to. Uh, I'm going to read the email here, and then we'll make the call in a couple of minutes. It says, uh, Ryan and Ellen, I've always felt my husband's friend has a thing for me. He's always friendly and super nice to me. I only see him as a brother, nothing else. Well, he told me that my husband is cheating on me, and I feel like he might be saying it because he wants my husband and me to break up. I don't want to ignore what he told me, so I want to find out the truth. The question is, is he is he telling her because he's being authentic and genuine and, and needs her to know? manipulating? Or is he making it all up? Yeah. Do guys do that to other guys? What's his agenda? Uh, do you, I, I mean, I'm sure they have. Yeah. But let's hope it's not standard operating procedure. <laughs> you want something, but someone else has it, so you lie to that something. Well, or maybe it is real, but he's jumping. He can't wait to tell her because he mm. wants to get in the way. Uh, let me get Karina. I think that's what Karina's most concerned about. Karina, thank you for coming on with us. So you're trying to figure out, um, is this real or not? Or does he have another agenda? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, how long have you been married? Seven years. And how much time do you spend with um, this friend of your husband's? I mean, not too much, but he's is, definitely, I mean, like, he, he lives nearby. He hangs out with us a lot. Is he married? And the kids, re- no. Oh, so he's he's a single friend? Yeah. Hmm. Is he cute? It's a, I mean, he's, he's cute, but it's, you know, it's not... It's, it's not brotherly like to you. Brotherly. Looking. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So you're confused, basically. You can figure out if um, if he's telling you the truth or if he's telling you this just to get in the way. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any kids? Yeah. How many do you have? Two. Uh, Karina? Yes. So what's the friend's name? Alex. Okay. Does your husband have any other signs that he may be cheating? I mean, besides the word of the friend? I mean, I wouldn't say anything in particular, but, you know, like things definitely aren't, they're not going to be the same as they were when we got married. What about this, though, though, you guys? What about you go to your husband and say, hey, your best friend is saying stuff to me that I don't believe and I think that he's doing it to hurt you because what if he's not and what if Alex is really just looking out for me and then I lose that friend Um, let's let's bring Patty and let's get to the call so uh, I need you to say Ryan you have my permission to call and then your husband's name on KISS FM you have my permission to call my husband Okay, we're going to bring Patty. She is going to offer your husband some roses. We want to find out who he sends them to and what he puts on the card. Do you have any idea? Did did Alex, your husband's friend, tell you who the woman is? No, I don't. He didn't mention any name. He just said that she saw some texts going on, and he's. But Alex doesn't know who the girl is. Mm -mm. If he does, he didn't tell me. Okay, so we don't know the name. All right, uh, so let's bring in Patty, and we're going to dial up your husband right now. Okay. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Rafael? Um, this is him. Rafael, hi, good morning. My name is Patty calling from flowerpower.com. How are you? Uh, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm actually calling you because you've been, um, you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. I am doing this promotion today for five customers where I am offering a free bouquet of roses plus free delivery at no charge to you. All I need is the name of the person you want to send them to, uh, a note, and I make sure they get delivered today by 6 p.m. the latest unless you want to, uh, me to send yeah. them another day. Yeah, I already know. I think I know what this is about. Um, I'm sorry? I think I know what this is about. Uh, Karina, are you there? I don't know. No, this is Patty. No, is is Karina there? Are you listening, Karina? This is... I don't have anybody yeah. here. Oh. 
Raphael, I need you to know. Raphael, it's Ryan Seacrest Hi. and Ellen Kay. I need you to know your voice is being broadcast on the radio. And Karina is on the line with us now. What's going yeah. on, Raphael? What's um, I think I think I know what this is about. Um, Karina, are you listening? She's there. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, babe, I, I have been meaning to talk to you and and you know let you know what's going on and let you in. I know I've been a little distant lately um, for a while now, um, and I can understand why you're coming at me like this and and why you feel the need to do something like this, to, to have, you know, someone else call and try to see if I'm doing something. Um, but I, I think it's time that I let you know that, um, unfortunately, babe, I, I love you. I love our family. Um, but I have been cheating on you for, for about two years now. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, um, you know, we got married young. Um, I thought that we could, you know, live a life together and, and, you know, continue being happy. And, and I tried to fight through it for the past couple of years, but I haven't been able to, unfortunately. Is this a joke? Raphael, come are on. You, come on. You, are, are, it's are, not funny if you're, like, no. playing. You're, you're so no, matter-of-fact no. about it and so calm about it. It's, it's strange. Well, it's, it's, it's been coming for a long time now. Um, and I'm sorry, babe, that... That I have to let you know like this, but you know who told her, right? Someone told you. Your friend Alex told your wife that you are cheating on her, and she believes that Alex may be motivated because he's attracted to your wife. What do you think about that? I'm not surprised. Alex has been telling me to come clean for a long time. But do um, you find it strange that he went around you to tell your wife? Uh, I kind of do because I thought he was my friend. I don't know why he would do that. I thought I can confide in him and and you know let him know my secrets and let him know what what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. But I didn't think that he would that he would tell her himself. He well, maybe it's because what you're doing is so wrong. Raphael, 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 Raphael. Two years you've been seeing another woman for two years. So you've what you've moved on already. You you fallen in love again. What's what's at the bottom? It's, I've tried to work it out with Karina. I've tried to be there and be the loving husband. How do what did you try to work out if you're cheating her. on her? Our, our marriage, I tried to be happy. I tried to keep pretending. that I By lying to her every anymore. day for two years? That's what you've been I, doing. I can't pretend anymore, honey. I can't. Karina, no, you had no don't idea? Don't call me honey. Oh, my. No. Who's the other woman, Raphael? Who's the other woman? Good question. She's this girl I met. Um, I went out with, with, with my guy friends uh, to a bar, and I met her there, and... Um, we didn't even, you know, we didn't even exchange information that night. And about a week later, I, I saw her again at a grocery store, and you know, we started talking, and and and, you know, we like went out for drinks again, and it just built into this relationship that we had drinks. now. And you just went out for drinks with some girl while you got two kids at home. And does she know you have a family? I've made her aware of the situation, and babe, I'm so sorry, babe. I really am. I don't mean to do this to you. I didn't. I didn't even want to do this to you. I never saw myself being this kind of person. But I've tried to be happy, and I, I can't. I can't pretend and, and live a lie anymore. And you're not even I'm giving not your wife a you. chance, like, to work on it. I've tried. I've tried. No, she's a great woman. She's a great mother, but she's just not for me. Karina, what's your reaction to all of this? I mean, this is like the, the calmest conversation we've ever heard on one of these phone right. calls before. What, what's your reaction to what Raphael's telling you? I don't... I'm sorry, I don't even know what to say. This is just hey, like... Please don't cry. Babe, I'm sorry. Raphael, please, oh, yeah. please don't cry. Oh, you and just you told her you've been seeing her on the one for two years, bro. Me? I feel really bad about this, and I'm so sorry that... Oh, you feel really bad about it. Yeah, I'm yes, sure. I'm it sounds like it's really messing but you up. I can't continue living this lie. I can't. I've tried for so long. Raphael, what is the intention here? I, I just think 
it's time for us to move on. I mean, I love my kids, and 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 like I said, Karina is a great mom and a great woman, but she's just not the woman for me. She's just not there for me, as available to me as much as she used to be. Karina, are you blindsided by this? Oh my god, I uh, there for you as much as I used to be. Do you understand what two young kids have done to it? I mean, it's like this is what a marriage is. This is what happens. It's when you when you bring these two tiny people into your life. Obviously, I can't be there for you 100% of the time, but it's like I expect you to be there for us, not somewhere else. And I expected you to bring these feelings up to me when you had them, not to some girl from some bar. Are you kidding me? No, babe, I'm so sorry. Right. So sorry, honey. I don't, I don't want to do this to you. I didn't want to be this person. Guess what you are. Yeah, I mean, that, that that doesn't make a lot of sense. Rafael, we're going to actually let you go. Okay. Like, go, go. Karina, can you hang on for one sec? Yeah. You're, you okay? No. Okay, hang on, baby. Hang on one second. 